this year in Bracebridge we're planning on and preparing for about 350 families uh, that will be that will be assisting uh, through our Christmas hamper program and so that's a significant number in a town in Bracebridge you know the area and so we know our counterparts in Huntsville and in Gravenhurst are, are seeing those kinds of numbers as well so it's it's a little concerning to us um, but again our community has always been so supportive uh, and and we've got a, a community spirit about helping one another uh, so we're very thankful to be that that vessel that people choose to uh, to help out those who need it the most. A hamper for the Salvation Army in Bracebridge includes uh, provision for a turkey as well as um, groceries, a huge box of groceries that will last not only for a Christmas dinner but also through well into the new year uh, and again as well um, we make sure that the toys and, and uh, the needs of kids are provided for as well. If you are in need, uh, please come and see us, let us know. We'd be more than happy to help you out. Obviously, the sooner we know the numbers, uh, the better we can be prepared and the better we can meet that need. Um, but if it falls that you, know, you, you thought you could do it and then you know, the 23rd of December, uh, you, you just realize you can't, uh, we certainly wouldn't see you stuck. But by all means, uh, sooner is better and a little bit easier for us as we prepare. There's all kinds of, of opportunity to volunteer with the Salvation Army during Christmas. Everything from standing on a kettle to, you know, and ringing the bell, which provides some of the funds we need to, to put together these hampers, as well as actually physically putting hampers together. And uh, like I said, we're very, very appreciative. The community has been so supportive of us and uh, we couldn't do it without their help. The majority of these hampers will be handed out over three days, uh, the week before Christmas, the 16th through to the 18th of December. Uh, we find that this gives enough time that uh, parents can prepare uh, gifts as well as the dinner and, and all the rest. So we like to give a little bit of time. And uh, yeah, we're, we're so happy and so thankful to our community to be able to do this and offer this help.